found you well. <laughs> Howdy, and welcome back to the Texas Bucket List. You know, whenever we're out on the road and need a sweet treat, a peanut butter parfait is always the way for me to go. But when we got to Midland, we found an ice cream store that had more than we bargained for. That's when we discovered Black Gold. <laughs> Heading to the ice cream store is always an indelible memory. The taste of cold, creamy goodness coating your taste buds with its sweet symphony is always a reason to smile. Seeing those unfiltered faces full of joy is the exact reason J.P. Hearn opened his Fountainville Creamery in Midland. There was nobody making ice cream, so we decided that's what we needed to do. JP is a former photojournalist for the local paper, but one day he got the inside scoop into making unique ice cream flavors. Actually, it was culinary school where JP majored in pastry and dessert, and that got things lined up into creating this ice cream factory with funny flavors. West Texas, they deserve their own ice cream. We're using West Texas flavors with a West Texas formula. Cornbread, tumbleweed, avocado toast, and sandstorm are just a few of the flavors. Man, these are weird. <laughs> I mean, oh, I've done some more weird ones. <laughs> when he comes up with these flavors, are there some where you're like, that's never gonna work? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> There's even one called queso. That should be uh, associated yeah. with ice cream at all. Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna get flavors you're not gonna get anywhere else. But the one that makes everyone scream is the black gold. That yeah. is so weird seeing you dip into a black vat. You see that black ice cream and you're like, that ice cream's turned. Yeah, yeah. Before we try to strike it rich in the ice cream parlor, JP showed us how he carefully creates his creamy craft ice cream in his tiny kitchen. Yeah, you definitely need more space. <laughs> it all starts with his ice cream base he makes from scratch, using local ingredients and natural flavors. His colors come from fruits and vegetables. This is our pasteurizer. Okay. It's. Uh, 30 gallons of milk, 21 gallons of cream, so that means I have to open up 84 quarts of uh, heavy cream. Since opening in 2016, JP's made 18 tons of ice cream. A little bit more than Tennessee Ernie Ford. <laughs> <laughs> How often are you back in your lab making these creations? Uh, just about every day. Really? <laughs> it's a seven day a week job. So what are we making? Are you actually making black gold today? Yeah. Oh, okay. As you can imagine, when it comes to an ice cream that's as black as space, there's a lot of questions like, should I even eat that? Some of them are just almost like a mind game. They're just a trick of the mind. Okay. You know, the black gold, a lot of people look at it and say, that really looks like licorice. I hate licorice. Everybody hates licorice, of yeah. course. <laughs> but it's kind of a mind game. It does not taste like licorice has no licorice in it, and um, it's just a unique thing that gives you a, a feel for West Texas because of the black gold that's here. The ingredients that go into the black gold seem simple enough. This is our graham cracker. Okay, graham cracker. And then we add local honey. The oh. whole thing? Pretty much. Wow. Boy, this is literally milk and honey. Yeah, <laughs> it is. <laughs> and this is what gives it its color, though. Yeah. Okay. And it's a charcoal with coconut. Well, yeah, it's a, well, it's made from coconut shells. Really? Yeah. So it's an activated charcoal. Down the hatch. Taking your time with that. This part takes a while. Tap the secret ingredient in. To say JP's careful with the black gold coloring would be an understatement. <laughs> Once it's all in, JP flips the switch. You're looking like the nutty professor over there with ice cream. A short while later, out from the machine comes a bubbling crude. I, I mean cream. It does make your tongue black. So. <laughs> Good to know. Yeah. Good to know. Time to taste some flavors. We want to start with some chupacabra because that seems like the most like normal ice cream. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think so either. Here's a sample of chupacabra. Okay. This is the one that's got the cajeta, the uh, goat caramel, goat milk, a little bit of strawberry. Everybody loves strawberry cheesecake. No, that's goat cheese. delicious. Good. As for the avocado toast. I would have never thought avocado toast is an ice cream flavor. 
And then with the Ritz crackers on top of that. That's crazy. Uh huh. That is good. Why not try some cornbread too? It's amazing how that cornbread just adds a little saltiness at the end there. It's really yeah, good. Yeah, it's just a little bit of savory. It's not as uh, sweet. Yeah. And there are a lot of people who don't like their desserts to be super sweet. Sure, sure. Uh, that's a perfect one for you. Turns out queso isn't really queso. This is mango cheesecake oh, okay. with tropical fruit in it. So it is more of a tropical pina colada type flavor yeah. than it is um, queso. Than, than it is queso. <laughs> It's got the color, but it's definitely, yeah, definitely a unique, different, different taste. Yeah. Finally, it's time to tap into the black gold. Nothing like you'd expect. It's just very light and a little honey, mm -hmm. a little bit of gram in there. That's very good. I make more black gold than I do vanilla. Really? Yeah, and vanilla is, you know, that's the tried and true. Yeah. And uh, I make more black gold than vanilla. So it literally is black gold for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's been said that ice cream is cheaper than therapy. And for JP, making the ice cream has been very therapeutic, especially being able to do it with his wife, Beverly. Working together has been a blessing. You know, I always know I got somebody that's got my back. <laughs> and I've got hers. Making sweets with your sweetie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Texas to the country. The Texas Bucket List is brought to you by Spirit of Texas Bank. Texans helping Texans. Slovacek's, you'll love our sausage. And Dairy Queen, that's what I like about Texas.